proceeding with Nissan's obvious mission to add tracks to a case of each vehicle it right now fabricates, the organization might want to give you an idea auto in view of the 370Z Roadster and named the 370Z Ki. On the off chance that you took a gander at the photo and articulated it 370 ski, congrats. You've won a canine that affections trucks. Get him at your neighborhood protect. You'll know him when you see him. Pick up adoring canines aside, what of this, the most crazy utilization of snow going gear that Nissan has yet sought after. Read on, snow speeder. Set to bow at the Chicago car exhibition in the not so distant future, the 370 ZKI was more of a generation to make than essentially rushing up an arrangement of tracks to the back and swapping the front wheels for two or three slides. In the first place, the entire drive a train needed to turn out, trailed by the creation of a custom 3-inch lift unit to empower the 370 ZKI to better endure the floats and head honchos of unbelievable snowbound fortune. New mounts for the back springs must be manufactured, as completed 3-inch spacers to mount the 15 expansive American track truck tracks to the back. In advance, the suspension experienced some tweaking to work with the back ride tallness, and custom connectors were required to take into account the movement and pivot of the front skis, which likewise came affability of American track truck. The skis themselves, 12 inches wide and 56 inches long, were just mounted to the front centers with some spacers. This is the place the Z Auto contrasts most from past B-Track Nissans, which depended on all-wheel drive hybrids and had tracks set up of every one of the four wheels. Prominently, the ZKI Roadster C, we're getting into it, uses the stock back brakes, and in advance, well, there are no brakes. Once the ZKI's track and ski setup was represented, the motor and transmission required a coincidental mounting arrangement. A front slide plate shields sensitive bits from heard over the span of dashing through the snow at Mach Z in this 332 horsepower snowmobile. The entire bundle was done off with a wrap including a mountain archaeal kind of theme, and the headlights were tinted specific yellow in the way of an old French auto or present day GT class racer. Nissan reason for the hued lights? Normally, to help the auto's group of onlookers to remember ski goggles. Once the ZKI was altogether fastened, Nissan pulled it out to blanket at Wyoming for some stormy Hoanagen photography. Its residency on the show floor in Chicago, unfortunately, will be more calm.